Up next, I am excited for this one. Oh, crap. Welcome back to the Bomb Shelf. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And again, I still have to come up with more ideas for introducing bottles. We have whiskey. Let's drink it. Joyce, what do we got? Today you are drinking Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey Finished in Rum Barrels. This Canadian whiskey from the Corby Distillery is aged for 10 years before being rum barrel finished. This whiskey is named after the Pike Creek in Ontario, Canada, where the Huron Walker Warehouse is located and where this whiskey sat aging before it was bottled. It comes in at 84 proof and we paid $20 with it usually costing around 25. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Let's dive into things. Oh, I really like this color. I got a straight <sighs> cough syrup right off the bat. Same. Yeah. That's better. So you're getting cough syrup. So you're I'm getting cough syrup and alcohol. I'm getting like, like ethanol. Cherry and wood. I I usually get cherry re- really easily. I am not getting cherry. Me neither. Spicy. Very spicy. Yeah. I'm gonna try to back off. It definitely has a stronger alcohol, but I think I just need to back off a little bit. Well, I've been reading up. Ethanol is actually a aroma note. Yeah, it that is. That some people are picking up. So. I'm getting vanilla, but I get vanilla a lot. But I usually get cherry a lot too. I'm not getting cherry. I am getting cherry. I'm getting woody notes. It's not not a specific wood. I'm getting wood and spice. I think spice is good. Spice is yeah. good. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go for taste. Some dark fruit. Some pit fruit. Cherry or, or plum. Well, it's far sweeter than I expected it to be. That's enjoyable. Finish is not exceptionally long. No. I, I would say it's, it's longer though. It's a moderate. Medium. I would give it a moderate. Yeah. Medium. I, I didn't, I didn't go medium long, personally. Hey, heavy tannin on the finish. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of vanilla on the finish, personally. Like, I'm getting a lot of vanilla on the palate. Less so on the finish, but it's still there. Going back to the nose after a drink. Yeah, going back to the nose, I'm getting more like sweet, caramely vanilla. So when you're smelling, it's important to smell with your mouth open so that there's a certain... I don't remember the biology of it, but... The way that the aroma passes through your na- nasal cavities, it's important to have your mouth open to allow those kind of to flow through. And then because your mouth is open after drinking, the aromas are still on your mouth and the taste that you've just had, it's gonna affect how you smell as well. So the smell that you have before you taste and the smell you have after you taste are likely gonna be different. I'm getting more caramel on the nose now. A little so, bit of date. And kind of peachy. I can see it. I don't necessarily get it, but I, I can definitely see where that peachiness is. And it's quick. Like... The peach? Yeah. It's there, and it's gone. Faster than I can even say it. We're gonna have water. I am prepared for that. And then finish that time, I got a lot of nutmeg. I'm at the nose now with water. I'm still getting vanilla, but the vanilla has changed. It's now more... Instead of a caramel vanilla, it's more of a, like... A vanilla extract. I can kind of see that. I'm losing the medicinal notes of it, which is good, right? You don't. Do you like the medicinal notes, or some people they, really like they medicinal? They can be good. For this particular one, I'm not sure I like it yet. Mm-hmm. Um, it may be something that I would have to get accustomed to. Maybe. It, Maybe for this particular whiskey, it's an acquired taste. But, um, I mean, I'm not saying it's necessarily bad, but I just don't think it fits for this. It's not what I expect. Going to the palate after water, I'm still getting that vanilla, but I'm getting more of that spice now across the back. And I'm getting more spice throughout on the yeah. nose, on the palate. Almost like pumpkin Mildly spice. On the finish. Somewhat clovey. A little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of ginger, 
a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting that peach, and it's a little bit more vibrant. Yeah, I'm still getting cherry notes, but less so. It's definitely bringing out more of the imp wood impact. Yeah. Yes. I think the finish is cut drastically with the water. I think it's bolder. Kind of like how... Um, yeah, it's, it's bolder, but thick, quicker. Right. Yeah. A little bit of astringency with the water, but not as vast as it could be. Um, definitely a lot of wood notes, but not in a bad way. Like, I don't mind these wood notes. They're not... Yeah. You guys ready to write? I think on the nose, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a 2.5. It's there. It's complex. I just... It's not very bold. Yeah. It, it takes a little bit of work to find to get in there and yeah, find I'd, it. I'd... Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm... Jump out of the glass. Yeah. I think I'm going to go... Two and a half, maybe a three... Mm. Stick with two and a half. Mm -hmm. um, the pure alcohol burn that came from the start just kind of made everything else difficult mm. to find. For this one, the medicinal smell is is hard to get by past. Mm. Um, and it masks so many other aromas. I think the nose could be so much better if that medicininess is that even a word? Um, is the is the medicinal note almost like iodine for you? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm starting to get it a little bit. Yeah, and, and that's what it is for me. It's like an iodine smell. Yeah, and, and a rusty sulfur. Not a strong sulfur. Um, I'm also going to give it a 2.5. Palette. Did you like it better with or without water? I think that... The water. I don't even know that it would bring it down even half a point. Okay. So I don't. I don't know that it makes enough of a difference from be like yeah, water or without. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, I think I'm gonna give it. Give it a three. Okay. I'm gonna go three on the palate as well. There's stuff that is there. There's. Stuff that is hidden that you kind of have to extract. But at the same time, there is so much more potential for this palette that it's just not hitting. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I have to go right on a three. It's mm -hmm. not bad. I really like that slight peach note that I got. I just wish I got more of it. I wish it was slightly more evident. And I wish it lasted a bit longer than it did. Yeah, there's just so much potential for this yeah. that it's not achieving. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. I think I really liked that palette. Uh, the spice, the vanilla. I didn't like it as much uh, with the water. I keep it neat. Um, like the water would bring it down for me, so I'm going to go 3.5. Yeah, I did like the spice, but again, I just I just think that there's so much potential for it that it's not hitting. So let's talk about finish. I'm going to give it a 2.5 on the finish. It is... the finish is just average. It is middle of the road, average. There's nothing exceptionally great about it. The length is average, the notes are average. It doesn't stand out, but it, it's not bad. I like it, but there's nothing exceptional about it. I'm going to go lower than Eric. I'm going to go with a two for basically the same reasons. And it's almost like I'm longing for more from this finish and I'm not getting it. And so it's like a, a gut punch to me. That, okay. You know, mm -hmm. get a sucker punch that, you know, you, you want it, you're not getting it. I'm going to go to 3.5 on this. I actually really like that finish. I thought there, I did find things that I liked about it. Uh, there was a little bit, a, I thought it was longer than what you guys were saying it was. 
Um, Spice was there. Vanilla. Tannin was still there for me. So that's our ratings. Let's jump into uh, the ratings of other websites and tasting notes of other websites. So for tasting notes, general consensus on nose. These are, the, these are the most popular notes across multiple reviews. Rye spice, brown sugar, vanilla, apricot, honey. Palette, rye, caramel, spice, cardamom, vanilla, pepper, plum, oak. Finish, medium length, black pepper, sugar, oak, and vanilla. I got the black pepper. In the I show. don't disagree with anything. Yeah. And I agree with most. So, yeah. I was saying peach, they're saying apricot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what kind of fruit is that? A pit fruit? Yeah, they're both pit fruits. And yeah. I did say pit fruit. I, I mentioned plum at one point. Cherry or plum. So. Yeah. I think you guys did pretty well. I, mean, I, think, I think your notes were in line with what mm -hmm. we have here. Uh, let's talk about ratings. Distiller gave this a 91. Whiskey Advocate gave it a 90. Tastings.com gave it good. an 89. It's pretty good. And we shot it down. <laughs> I gave it average. Middle yeah. of the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, slightly above with three. Reveal time? Reveal time. Wait, don't we have to guess? Yeah, you're, yeah. We, yeah, you're gonna guess. Yeah. So, reveal time. Tell me before we reveal what type of whiskey you think it is. What the proof is, what the MSRP price or general retail price is, and what would you pay for it? I think it's an 80 proof Canadian MSRP, I'm going to say 16 to 20. I would pay 16. I'm going to go 88 proof Irish 20 to 25. And you would pay 20 to 25? Probably. All right, so let's start with some facts about this whiskey before I do the big reveal. Get their hearts racing. Uh, or something like that. First off, this is a 10-year-old whiskey. I'm wrong. It is aged in ex-bourbon casks and ex-rum casks. Hmm. Eric, for once, you didn't guess 84 proof. For one time. Oh. <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> I literally, the last time said, I'm going to keep guessing 84 until I'm going to get it right. Whew. That was Swing the one mix. time I did guess 84. <laughs> you guessed 88. Oh, did I? I thought you guessed 88. I was like, oh, okay. So, like, so right between us. Right between yeah. All right. Um, general price is $25. Uh, I paid $20 on sale, and it is a Canadian whiskey. For once, I was right on the type, so swinging so, a miss on that. Yeah, if you, take, if you take all of our guesses, we got it right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So today you drank Pike Creek Canadian whiskey, 10-year-old rum barrel finished. So it's aged next bourbon barrels, finished in a rum barrel. You said 10 years, and I was like, that's not Canadian. But it is. <laughs> it is. It's Canadian. 10 year old Canadian Pike Creek Canadian whiskey, finished in rum barrels. 84 proof. Now, usually this bottle actually has like some twine going around it. My bottle did not. I feel a little gypped. And this. This, if you go to the Fine Wine Spirits website, which is the Pennsylvania State Liquor Control Board website for sales, uh, it is one of the, it is labeled as top rated. As it, generally speaking, has a, a 90 plus rating. Mm -hmm. Which may just be because it's a Canadian whiskey and compared to other Canadian whiskeys, it's a, got a nine. I was just going to say, if I had known this was Canadian going in, those ratings would have been much higher because I would have been biased expecting to be much worse. Yeah. Which is part of the reason why maybe my ratings are higher than theirs. I tried to not For do a that, Canadian, but... that is exceptionally good. Yeah. It's it's still hard for me to get past the medicine mm -hmm. on it. I wonder if that came from the rum barrel. I'm wondering too. So, um, 
I got a rum feeling finish off this on our without without water. But I purposely did not say it because I didn't want it to being a rum barrel finished. I I think that's where the sugary notes came from in the, the sugary and the yeah yeah the uh, the the vanilla like going back to it you know I can absolutely see the rum influence and actually I can now sitting for a while I can smell rum yeah. so a straight rum, not a spiced rum. Yeah, yeah, A yeah. straight rum. Straight rum. A- an aged straight rum. Right. You said you got this for 20? Yeah. I think I'd pay 20. Yeah. It's- I, I said I only paid 16. I think I'd pay 20. I think I'm interested to look for some. I mean, that's... All right, well... That's our review. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Um, anything in your notes? No, oh, it's made by Weisers, which is a uh, a big producer of Canadian whiskey. Um, we'll probably end up doing a lot more Weisers in the future. So, look for those. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe, give us a like, comment. Love to hear from you. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at the Bombshelf Whiskey, and a toast to you. May the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy that says, This This drink's on me. It can definitely tell the the rum impact. Yeah. Knowing it? Yeah, Yeah, absolutely.